Hello, welcome to Furious Driving, and here we are in my 2003 Freelander Kalahari. And being a Kalahari, it's got the fancy interior with a half leather, half Alcantara. Alcantara being the wonder fabric of the car industry. They love this stuff, the fake suede, which lasts about 14 seconds as soon as you sit on it. It starts out looking all smooth and lovely and really nice, like this headrest, and pretty soon it ends up looking, I don't know, like a badly frayed mammoth. So, what can you do about it? Well, there is actually quite a weird quick fix, and I'm gonna show you if that works. I've seen it used online, I'm gonna see if we can make it happen in this car and make this an awful lot more presentable inside. First thing we need to do though is to give it a clean up because there is about 15 years, in fact, no, 20 years of butt grease on here, which we need to wipe out first of all. So I'm gonna get some interior cleaner, the foaming stuff, foam it, sponge it, let it dry, and then we can move on to stage two, which is the actual reclamation of the fabric. Before I begin though, I will try the fabric cleaner on an inconspicuous area just to make sure it's all right. Always do that with a fabric you've not done before because you never know how things will react for sure, just to be on the safe side. Right, let's go find some stuff. Okay, this is the Diamond Bright upholstery and carpet cleaner, which I've used on quite a number of my cars actually, including the Crown Victoria you can see in the background. Did I use it in Quentin? Yeah, I used it in the carpets in Quentin. My grey Mercedes, all my cars basically, the uh, big blue Mercedes as well. It's nice stuff to use, it works very effectively. I've got a glove on today though, not because this is horrible on my hands, but because when I was doing the uh, Crown Vic shocks and things, I cut my fingers to ribbons, and so I don't want additional bum juice, or excessive bum juice I should say, going all over my fingers. So you just spray this stuff on. Unfortunately, that door behind where the camera is stuck is in a bush. So I'd like to do the door cards as well, because they are not bad condition, but they are kind of thick with grease. I'll come back to do an interior cleaning video on this car another day, probably, maybe ish, who knows. Ugh. Right, let's go and get a brush to agitate this and then a bucket of water to rinse it out. Well, this rubber brush is actually a diamond bright thing intended for alloy wheels, but uh, it's nice and soft so I can give a little, little brush with this thing here and just work this stuff through. Get it all nicely freed out. This is a brand new wiggly mitt. If you don't want to be soaking this chair horribly, just get it loosely wet, lightly damp, just sponging out the grime that should be lifted off by the um, interior cleaner. Actually, it's coming up surprisingly clean. I mean, I've seen some horrifically brown, brown, brown water coming out of car seats before. And this, it really isn't which is nice. Well, that is a little bit grimy, but really not bad at all. I've seen far, far worse on actually much cleaner looking cars. So that's good. I guess maybe it's been cleaned not too long ago. Actually, I think looking at old photos of this car, it did have uh, car seats on it most of its life. So that's probably saved a lot of bum juice from uh, interacting with the interior, which is always good. Blech. It turns out this thing also has a handy double extra life, if you like, ability. Not only can you do whatever you're supposed to do with heat guns, I imagine there's some real purpose for them, you can take off window tinting and you can also dry seats that you've just washed. Yes, there's the air compressor you can hear in the background. Right, so now with the seats fully dry, this is where things go a bit, I'm sorry, what now? Because what we're going to use is regular common or garden, or garden even, sandpaper. You know, rubbing paper, emery cloth, whatever you want to call this stuff. We're gonna go with, uh, well, I like you treating a bit of wood, multiple grades. Start off with the harshest, a little bit of 80, which is quite rough, but for the worst bits. Move to some 120, then to some 600, and finally to some 2000. So basically we're gonna go from this horrible roughness to this beautiful smoothness. So yeah, I'm not really 100% sure this is gonna work either, but let's go. Let's work on just a small area of the driver's seat here. You can see all the lumps just peeling off. God, that's simply working. Where's the 120? Let's move on to a, a lighter grit. 
Oh, I think I'm pretty start on the 120. Blimey, that does actually appear to work. Let's get the 600. Holy moly. I was genuinely not convinced this was going to work, but I think I've just saved the seat. <laughs> Astonishing. That is like new, actually, almost. Well, not far off, anyway. Generally impressed at that. Let me show you a close up. So check this out. This is the little smooth corner I've just done. Compare that to this rough and tumble scrubby bit here. That is genuinely impressive. Who'd have thought? Sandpaper, eh? I'll show you this again on the passenger seat. This is amazing. It just pills away. The big lumps just pill away. Gotta be really careful around the actual leather edges though. Gonna be scuffing that area up. Although it does need a bit of leather recolouring already. This is just going with the, uh, the 120 grit, not even going back to the really heavy stuff either. And back in with a 600, just to smooth things off. <sighs> Look at that, that is, that is literally like new. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Now it's the more of the same here in the back, where, to be honest, it's only these front areas that are an issue. A little bit just here, not quite so much. The backs are pretty much like new, almost-ish. Um, it looks like, from the indents, that this car was driven with the back seats folded down for an awful lot of its life, so this rear seat area hasn't taken much wear at all, apart from this indent here in the, the back of the seat, where it's been squished down on the... Uh, on the seatbelt buckle for many years. I would never in a million years have thought of taking a woodworking tool effectively on a bit of material. But it really does work well. It's basically just depilling the surface. I did read a suggestion you get one of those little um, electric shavers that you use for bobbly jumpers, but I did not think that was going to be anywhere near enough to deal with this. Oh, it feels lovely, it feels so much nicer. And the, the first thing I saw when I got into this car and sort of drove it home from swapping over with Quentin was the seats. You can kind of feel them through your trousers almost. It's so kind of bobbly, and then you look at it and across at the passenger seat and it just looks so disheartening. But this really does look Extremely nice now. Oh, that's lovely. Let's give that a bit of the 600 grit. Just 
to polish a smooth surface onto it. It really is just like doing woodworking, it's amazing. Well, I really wasn't sure these handy luggage nets in the ceiling would ever get used for anything useful, but there you go. A handy uh, light container so I can put my little LED light in here and light up the interior for this shoot. Now look at that, that rear seat is, it's basically like new. I cannot believe how well this has come up. I am genuinely astonished. Well, I am genuinely amazed at how well this went. I saw this online and thought, that's one of those hacks that's never gonna work. And what do you know, it really, really does. If I was being cynical, I'd say I'd polished a couple hundred pounds worth of value back into this car just with a few minutes and some sandpaper. Because when you got into this car before, first thing you saw were these knackered seats and it was really, really off-putting. But now you look at them and they look, well, like new. I need to do a little bit of repair on the leather, but that's beyond what I can do here at home. But we can look into getting a professional maybe to give me a hand with that at some point in the future. But a bit of re-dyeing on these seats and maybe a bit of a clever taping, that would hide that quite well. So yeah, I think I'm quite happy with this result. This is a, a nice easy win for once. One final thing I'll do before we put this car away for the night is fabric and seat protection. This is uh, the stuff that comes with the ceramic um, paint protection set that I've used on the Crown Victoria. There's hardly any fabric in that car, most of it's plastic or rubber, so didn't really use much. So we'll give this suede a bit of a, well it's not suede, it's Alcantara, a bit of a squirt over so that that is now protected for the future. Squirt it on the fabric, wipe it off the leather, and then you're done. So there you go, we have got what I'm gonna call a big win. Thank you for watching this ridiculous tip, which I really didn't think was gonna work. If you've enjoyed, please, as always, hit like and subscribe, and join me again next time when we'll be working on one of the many other cars and doing something which I haven't even figured out yet. Thanks for watching, see you again soon. Like and subscribe, don't nearly forgot that.